I think she'll go for the Angus Lad for sure, just because it's like, yeah, there it is. Mm -hmm. It's a very rough matchup. Actually, the champ. I've, heard it's, I've heard it's actually the other way around. Um, like, I know when we had the counter character spots, we got like a sheet, and it said that the champ can be a problematic character. Pretty much just because um, 660 HP is a lot. You can weather through a lot of damage, and damage output in general like, can really hurt Angus Slash. So, I like, guess in terms of like, Damage and they can both do weight a lot to each other, so I don't know. Alright, get that six wide crushes in there. This guy is just not doing good right now. Nice dry chop. Ooh, okay. Catching that C on act frames, going in with that tick grab. Yeah, that was a lot of nice pokes there. Um, it was a little bit scary for this guy because he was in the mist. Um, there's that could have easily thrown out the face shield after that. Uh, nice cross job oh. on this guy is now in the red. That is minus four on block. Yeah, it's, that's that's the ultimate guessing game. You, like that's like a okay. I don't know what's gonna happen. Lost, like it's just a scary situation for both players. Like uh, it's really it's like a really bad force in that situation. All right. Go no, paper set getting that attack buff straight off the gate. Yeah, it is free against the champ. You can't really do anything to punch it right away. All right, two X punish that CA. Oh man, I like the idea of the scary face. It's not quite great. Like, right. It's like in a nice position right now. Slow and surely whittling down Skyrim. Paper Sack is just keeping him in that misery. Yeah, I was about to say, she was doing a really good job doing that, because that like makes it so, alright, now I can't really commit to anything, because they can just counter and activate. Okay, because a full combo off it. Shadow Sneak, okay. I haven't seen that one. Alright, chance busting out the first. Oh, jumps into the Finnegan. Oh, he gets the wake up slap though through the Finnegan. Oh, I, really? Okay. Got Eevee coming in. That Eevee, that's big boy damage. Yeah, that is. That's any the, hit. Let's see. Okay, shield that, but still, kids still be scary for paper sack. Oh, she's he's gonna fall. fall. Yeah, he's falling right into that. And that's gonna take that. Paper sack gonna take game one right there against Sky. I will say it would be it will be quite the upset if Paper Sack can snag this game uh, round. I don't want to jinx anything, but um, it does. It would be an upset. So very good start here from Paper Sack. Like the existence of that mist is scary if you don't exactly know how it works. It, mm -hmm. it pops open when you change from uh, sword to shield. Sword to shield. Yeah. yeah. So. There's three ways to get into shield form. I think that, there's a lot of ways, like in neutral, there's like about three ways. Like there's counter, king shield, and uh, iron head cancel. 8Y, 5YYY, and a 2YX. Yeah. But there's a lot of ways for them to do it. Yeah, so, and when you're in that, especially when you're like, okay, you can't really move out of it a lot easily, like Machamp, like, you have to be like, okay, I have to be really careful. If I use an attack, I could be crit out of nowhere. Because it counts as a counter, so. Okay. Oh, okay. Look at all that damage this guy has already put on the board in one field phase. Yeah, uh, Angus Lash's health pool is certainly something to laugh at. Yeah. Trying to go for that. Yeah, the two X. It, that move is pretty ridiculous. How plus it leaves you. Off screen. Can I get Game Teeny and Falco? Alright, so here we get the rolling call. That Morka call. Yeah. Okay. So that's it. Yeah, it's a very interesting choice. And Morka is a really good choice against Ace Slash because it just denies um, shield form. But not quite sure about using that in that combo. It's cool and everything, but practicality wise. Hmm. Okay, with shield. Nice saying that low profile goes underneath the counter. Nice. Oh, that was very my Oh, thanks guys. You could have took that game right there. Busting out the burst of pressure and chin. Oh, that's a super break. break set up. Nice. Okay. Really good stuff there for Skyrim and Game Force. Like, uh, knowing him, he, he fully knew that was going to break. Like, he was like, okay, I got this. Okay, so I can really got scared. She could have possibly low profile there underneath the cry chop, but I'm not quite sure. Nice timing on that sacred sword. And it's like just slowly chipping away. 
Why would get punished by a max? Get out of the corner, but not much off of the need at 4x. Nice thing. I like the fanking choice that Hypertax is doing. That puts a Sire's right in position. He doesn't want to reach that mid range. Where... Nice base. Okay, I like that reaction for Hypertax. And the 2x catching him backwards. That's what I mean, that move is ridiculously active. Like, it's crazy. Man, I saw something from Sky Racing. Oh, no! Jeez, okay, he went for the heavy slam, but just went right into the laser beam. Taking that. Okay, so that's going to round three here. Paper's like on match points. So, he's going to get some of that surgery back from her special cheer. This guy's going to be sitting really close to his. Tyson does have a mulga straight off the bat. That's 6A. Beating out that G1 Yeah. <laughs> That's that, that's a slash <laughs> projectile pressure property. Oh dang! Just goes straight into the burst. Nine seconds in, and we have a burst coming out from Sky Rainbow. Yeah. Getting it right back in her face, forcing the situation. Oh my God! Sky is in a huge lead right off the bat. Oh, he, oh why did she come up that? Oh my God! Okay. Get the class. Oh man, that miss saving paper sack right there from that air grab. Oh, she got ducked that. Alright. Okay. Alright, so back in. Paper sack has been doing an amazing job of taking this back into her control. Okay. She's looking a little bit broke right now. Ooh, tried the oh, pairing. Dang. Goes down with the heavy slam. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I'm unable to beat the um, jump X there. It's going into game three. This is an incredibly close. Up. Here's like did an amazing job taking back that advantage from do, taking all that damage in the first like 20 seconds of the match. Okay. Going in here. Again, I really like the Fennekin pick. I think that's a really solid pick from Paper Star because it just keep like I'm like Umbreon. Umbreon just keeps him right next to you. So they don't really get pushed back at all if they shield it. Then again, put them right in the situation where you want them. That 2x. Alright, so we got a combo coming out. Sadly, so can't make slash toward the corner. Oh, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. Oh, God. And then, uh, was that Spoke up? That was. Oh, okay. okay. Probably it was. All right, so Emolga call. That's my yes. That's that's exactly why Emolga is so good. You catch him in that shield form, and you can pop it and force him out, or you hit him out and take it. Okay, so Paper Sack getting that early buff, setting up the mist. Macham just staying out of the range of it. Mm -hmm. That V Crate will catch him jumping though. I tried to challenge it, not quite working out. Oh man, okay, he's not actually answering there. And we got Sky going to his own. Oh, getting out. Hey, like, wasn't able to get out of the corner. Uh, she should be able to shield that. Oh, she, no. she pressed the button! She... That's gonna hurt. That's not. I, I don't know what happened there. Oh, that's gonna hurt a lot. And forcing it to the situation. Nice. Okay, then again, saving paper sack for now. Moga oh, oh, the kill! Oh, Sky isn't taking yeah. it 2 1, but a very, very good job for Paper Sock. She really, really gave Sky Racing a, a run for his money there. For sure, dang. That was a really close set. 